Hmm. Yo, <laughs> good evening everyone, sup? Uh, I am Godo DC and I'm going to run Mega Man 03. So the schedule is already a little bit late, so I will I won't take too much time to start. So I will do the countdown. Um three, two, one, go. Ah. The first thing you need to do in this game is to change the commands because mm, uh, you have two weapons in Mega Man Zero series games and you have a lot of styles you can use these weapons. You can use them on type A, type A, where you need to press two buttons to use the sub weapon, and you can use it on type B, where you can use one button, button for the sub weapons and for the weapons, main weapons. So we want to play it on type B. Uh, <laughs> the first stage there wasn't too much things to explain, so I so that was a good stage to explain the mechanics. But uh, in Mega Man Zero series, you usually can manipulate every boss RNG and some some other things and in the first stage I manipulate some crystals drops uh, to be able to use a cyber elf later in the game so the first stage um, you go is Hellbat because he has a he has a, the most import uh, X skill in this run that is the Saber Smash because this game has a combo system where each attack has a level and you can use one attack from each level until the level 5 and only one skill is level 5 or is it level 6? ok, I don't know but in the final level the, there is only one attack and this attack is Saber Smash and Saber Smash is this the X skill from this stage. And this stage has a lot of junks like oops like here and this junk is uh, makes zero becomes and becomes lower but there is a trick in this game that I made in the first stage as well and I forgot to explain that is the I ah, oh, <laughs> the hang glitch jump <laughs> sorry I forgot the name uh, let me just do this quick -o. Whoops. Okay, I didn't die. But I messed up the quick kill. 
Uh, you guys can see I did shoot uh, some bullets on the wall and made specific movements. It's because I was manipulating the RNG. Because in this game you can skip cutscenes, and when you skip a cutscene, uh, the RNG resets, so you can manip every boss easily thanks to that. But uh, the terrain glitch is when you jump and you press dash until 3 frames after the jump, you still can. You can do a dash jump, but when you dash jump in a special, um, in a different terrain, you don't get speed. But when you jump first and after the jump, you start the dash with the terrain glitch jump you get the speed from dash so it's a pretty useful glitch I think I hope it uh, you guys could understand this explanation um, let me see if there's something I'm forgetting to explain in this beginning of the game. Ah, of course. When you kill enemies with saber, you saber or any other weapon, you lose 4 frames per enemy kill it. But with Buster you don't lose these frames. So you want to kill <laughs> the major amount of enemies with Buster to save some extra time Oops. and other important thing uh, every exoskill has a uh, a main element so all the exo skills has its base damage but when you equip the right elemental ship and use the right exo skill it will do more damage and it will it and more and we will have a uh, extra effect but it uh, it's level one combos will keep the same so it's pretty useful and you need to be hunky a or uh, or s to to get a whoops <laughs> I'm having some problems with my DualShock 3 because my DualShock 4 stopped it to work so you guys I'm going to <laughs> to see a lot of menuing mistakes but not a big problem at all here I'm already manipulating the mid boss because the only RNG, the only cutscene skip I had is there, back there so I try to... Oh, I try to... to arrive on this mid boss the faster I can because when you have a cyber elf on the screen the RNG changes 
every 15 frames, I guess. And that's why I need to be f I need to get on that mid boss pretty fast. And this cyber elf is cloaky. He makes my charge, uh, my charging half second faster. So it's it's it is pretty useful to quick kills and uh, some stage execution. And uh, you guys saw I picked three discs, two in Hellbat and one in Flizzard. The disc in Flizzard was clocky, and the first disc in Hellbat was uh, sin, uh, uh, 100 discs. Uh, 100 disc because I need 2,000 discs to uh, upgrade Clocky and be able to equip him and the second disc in Hellbat stage was another cyber elf that I'm going to equip uh, later in this run and this stage is pretty straightforward, pretty scary, and pretty fun to execute. Because you do pogos in water, and this is cool. Whoops. Wow. This mid boss hitboxes. Okay. Now I need to be careful because <laughs> with this death it's pretty easy to I screw up my hunk and I can't I need some max skills yet But that's why I hate this stage, but whoops. Bad muscle memory. And but even hating this stage, it's a pretty fun stage. Okay, nice fight. Mm, I'm going to kill some extra enemies because my hunk. Uh, I need to be careful now because I'm a B rank, and uh, when you die in this game, you lose some mission points. <laughs> I think it's 5 mission points per death and more mission points because the damage points and this just destroys your hank but in this stage there are a lot of enemies to kill so I can recover it easily Because killing enemies give me some hunk points. I <laughs> I lose frames, but at least the run is not dead. So. <laughs> it's worth
Now I... <laughs> I only can pray to... I... My Hank... My Hank... Go to A again, because I really need... <laughs> the next stage okay nice <laughs> I really need the next stage uh, XSQ it's pretty useful and some quick kills it's not one of the most important but <laughs> is a really important, is a really good access skill and a lot of useful. The good thing about this three next stages, the, the four next stages, is that it, it's that they are pretty short, <laughs> but they are really difficult as well. Um, this stage is easy to learn but it is terrible to whoops execute everything fine and I was not expecting I would uh, do the pogo perfectly whoops I forgot to charge the recoil rude and by the way, uh, in this set of bosses, I'm going to fight for Mega Man Z1, Mega Man Zero One bosses, uh, Hanmachin, Stragrov, and Anubis, and Copy X. That's why they are pretty short stages. Just plot issues. That was a good stage, by the way. One eleven EGT. And now I'm going to pick another to get another really really important skill in the run that is the up slash and up slash and down uh, saber smash are really good in the combo because they are the finishers and there, are, uh, there is only one X skill in the same level as up slash and whoops. forgot was I was talking about <laughs> but yeah up slash is pretty useful nice I'm going to a problem I'm going to be rank again and I don't know what I'm going to do because <laughs> I I need copy X X skill as well. <coughs> this set has only four stages, but I need three <laughs> of the four X skills in this stage. Mm, Eighty five. Okay, I think I can. Recover it in Anubis. Basically, you need to start the stage with A or S Hank. Uh, 
it doesn't matter if you <laughs> went to B or C or A after this stage, you need to kill the boss the boss with the level. To kill them. What? Okay. I messed up the quick kill, so I'm going to kill some extra enemies here. Just to make sure that I'm going to. Go back to a Hank. By the way, this is one of the most fun stages in this run. So, doing it on Beer Hank or <laughs> messing up everything like I'm M, it's not that fun. What? Oh my god. <laughs> I messed up the one cycle, so I'm losing 8 seconds. It's strange because I <laughs> press it down slash, but the game didn't recognize. Almost this Zloa, it's almost <laughs> RPG. <laughs> so it it has oops, it has some RPGs elements one or two. Uh, a little. Okay, nice. <laughs> I think I I can mess up the rest of the run since I got this the most swag dash in this run and the most difficult as well. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Basically, these platforms are global cycle. Whoops, my god. That scared me a lot. These platforms are global cycle, and <laughs> any mistake you do in the first part of the stage is terrible. Or any mistake you do in the second part is terrible as well as you guys saw. Nice. What the f Okay, my... <laughs> Okay, uh, my uh, controller is not friendly with me today. It's the thirty, the third saber smashing putt. It drops. Okay, I got it again. <laughs> That's fine. Let me see if now I can do a better stage. Uh, that saber smash I I got in the beginning of this the fight against Copy X. It's a two frames window attack, and it's pretty difficult 
to to get because this game is 60 FPS per second and that is the fastest way to do the fight but <laughs> it's not when you can do attack and your your game over and this backup you lose two seconds but it's not the worst thing in the world still a pretty quick hole I say the FPS I thought I I was sure I say the frames 60 frames. <laughs> it's pretty difficult to play. What? Ta. Yo. It's pretty difficult to play this game and explain everything because it's a really fast paced game and and has a lot of hard executions and my controller is not helping me I miss my dual shock for okay ah <gasps> <laughs> uh, yeah Okay, I should quick kill this boss, this mid boss as well, but I messed it up. Uh, <laughs> this stage, the it's pretty chill because you have this snowboard and you can just go here and kill the beast because it's fun and yeah. There's not too many things to say about this stage. And I can go dashing uh, under the snowboard platform, but you need to have the perfect movement to do this and save time, please. Okay. <laughs> Reminder to buy a new DualShock 4 for the next marathon. Oh. Okay, that was not my controller fault, it was my fault. I messed up the menu. Okay, this is the easiest fight in the game, but I messed up the menu. Basically, I changed my chip for the next stage because Foxstar stage is the f most difficult stage in the game. And <laughs> there are a lot of tricks I can do with this ship because it uh, it turn uh, makes my not back my uh, mm, word it makes zero take twice knockback and with the this green ship and the boots ship I can do a faster combo with triple slash and up slash and 
I can run faster <laughs> with this ship. So it's the perfect ship for this stage. That tower is the first out of three mid bosses in this game, in this stage, and the easiest one, but that the towers are terrible and the true and the true mid boss is even worse okay one cycle nice this one cycle is very precise as the most of the quick kills in this stage if you miss any hit in the quick kill you miss it, you... Ah! Okay, <laughs> save it. Cuz... Every single hit is important in most of quick kills in this game. Uh, even the PS shots are, pre are pretty import important in the quick kill. If you mess up the PS shots, the boss will stay alive with 1 HP. <laughs> like Hanubis and that I mid boss. And here the platforms like, are global cycle as well, like in Copy X. Oh shit. I am B rank. She don't have exit skill. Okay, I'm dead. She don't has exit skill. And I need he her access skill to manipulate her. I didn't saw I was B Hank because I kill a lot of bees. Ah, oh, I died in Cactank. That's why. Okay. The biggest problem is this dumb attack. Oh, again! Okay, I'm dead. Okay, I'm not dead. This attack is pretty idiot because it's pretty difficult to dodge and <laughs> gives a lot of damage. So I still. B rank. I need. Mm, Gale's Slash is the most important skill in this game. No, it's not the most important, but it's pretty important. So I'm going to change the root here and I'm going to <laughs> go in Voltio first because to see if I can. Improve my hank. And I'll kill <laughs> the highest amount of enemies I can kill. Because I need Calvarian's X skill. Oh, of course. This ship I got is a cyber elf that can make me go to A Hank. <laughs> I forgot about him. 
That's good, I came to the stage first. But I did not need to lose that time killing a lot of enemies because I could not do the manip doing that. Uh, this stage has a manip for these doors because I have H doors that I, I need to pick four discs here and there are eight doors that can have a disc and the sequence of the doors change every frame but when I arrive on that that room where I skip it a cutscene the doors pattern freezes so in the first part of the stage I can do specific movements to mm, to arrive in that home in a specific frame in a specific a specific frame to to get a specific patterns for these doors okay the the backup quick kill worked <laughs> Oops, oops, I'm used the elf, oh god, I forgot the elf, <laughs> I forgot to pick the elf, I lose that amount of time and I didn't pick the elf, I picked the disc but I didn't pick the elf because Moscow Memoir. No problem, there are backups for the boss rush. I'm just going to lose a lot of time. Because I'm going to do old strats. And completely not up time. Uh, first half of the elevator was terrible because I messed up one enemy timing and this destroyed the pattern of all other enemies one enemy Anything you mess up in this elevator will mess up the entire elevator because enemies spawn spawn when you kill mm, previous enemies uh, specific previous enemies 
So if you start to mess up this, you'll mess up any enemy kill. The others will spawn in completely different order. And I forgot to say, uh, bosses change, the, uh, most of bosses change their patterns. Uh, when you are in B rank or A rank, because they have X skill as well. Uh, when you are in A or S rank, they use their X skill and <laughs> you need uh, the X skill to do some fights. You need to use their access skills sometimes. Oops. But in some fights you don't need they in, you don't need them to use the X skills so you can still manipulate them and now I have baby elves I didn't explain the first baby elves fight uh, baby elves Oops, I forgot, I don't have uh, I don't have Gale Smash Oh my god Baby Elves They, ha they share the same HP bar, but they have their own hitboxes and don't share the iframes so you can do a combo on the one and then go and combo the other because they don't share iframes uh, <laughs> in a normal run you would use uh, Kelvarian's X skill in that fight and in this entire boss rush, but I don't have that. So, fortunately, you guys you, you will see a pretty sad boss rush. But you guys already saw a pretty sad run. One more stage is no problem, right? Reminder to never more play this game in a marathon without a commentator. Whoops, mess up his eyes. I always mess up this boss. <laughs> That's why you want to quick kill this boss because he teleports and teleports and teleports and he can block your attacks and he's the most dumb boss in this day in this game. Oh shit. Wow, I can't hit him. 
I'm trying to do the normal quick kills, but I'm not used to do this <laughs> in this stage, so I'm messing up everything. Ah, game over. Another one. I think this is going to be a huge overestimate. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I made some runs today, but and them all was 42, 43, but this run was pretty sad since the beginning. I forgot up slashes fire. <laughs> Boss rush is pretty dangerous even in the normal run because you take a lot, a lot of you take a lot of damage boost <laughs> and I don't know I use it ice ship I don't know boss weakness anymore. You take a lot of damage boost and you have to fight a lot of bosses taking damage boost from all of them so it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> but here I can do save since I'm not doing the usual strats, the right strats, the fast strats. So oh, nice RNG. <laughs> I I never thought I would say this sentence playing this game, but nice RNG. <laughs> Since I always manipul I always manipulated everything. And there Overestimates the new underestimate. <laughs> oh, this is pretty sad, dude. But it it happens, it happens. This is a pretty punish ball game. And I forgot that. <laughs> One mistake, two mistakes I did destroyed my run, but I deserve it because. Please. Oh no, I'm dead. Foxstar is the worst boss in this game. Uh, to kill without speed threat. <laughs> okay, that scared me a lot.
I just hope I can manipulate Omega, the first two forms of him in Hunky Baby Link. What the fuck? <laughs> wow, sorry guys, sorry. <laughs> that was really unexpected. The funniest part is that I could manipulate him and I died and then I can't manipulate him anymore and I don't know what I'm doing because you don't know how to fight your very end casually you can't fight this boss casually because this boss is <laughs> is this boss why I change it the weapon Okay, at least here I can... I think I can do the quick kill because... I don't think he is... I can manipulate him in Huckabee. Okay, I can't. Almost there. Oh, I didn't kill Cactank. Amazing. I was sure I killed him. Sorry guys, sorry to make you all watch this. I swear I know how to play this game. I swear. <laughs> no, he's our god. How I could forget about the god of our bosses. Okay, the fight here was the same. Let me see here. Okay, here seems like it's the same as well. Okay, it's the same. <laughs> uh, the second elf I equipped in Lekak Tank. Don't. Okay, don't let me die when I fall in a pit and I don't know how I will fight Omega without this skill. Okay, I can die. I just... Okay guys, so... I won't do another 7 minutes stage because the marathon is pretty late already. And I am already... 9 minutes <laughs> overestimate, so you can... You can cut the run, whatever, sorry, I'm really sorry for this run. Wow, everything went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 